Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Venus Rising. Check out the link on the description if you want to check out your your birth chart so you can have a better understanding of the kind of person that you are. It's very imperative for you to do that because you can be like, oh, I'm a Scorpio, but I don't really act like a Scorpio. Oh, I'm a Pisces, I don't really act like a Pisces. You understand? So you might be a Scorpio with heavy Capricorn energy. You can be like a, a Capricorn with a Scorpio moon. You can be an Aries with a Scorpio moon uh, or a Scorpio rising. So you need to understand those aspects of your chart. You can be a Scorpio with an Aries rising. So if you understand other aspects of your chart, it will help you. You can also be able to get other more readings. Because you can be a Scorpio with heavy Pisces uh, placements. And you can also benefit from the Pisces reading as well. So click the link on the description box. It's completely free Scorpio or Scorpio. We are doing a general reading for Scorpio. What is the messages? What are the messages for Scorpio today, Holy Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know today, Holy Spirit? What are the messages for Scorpios today? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do daily readings on Scorpio. What is the message? What is the general message for Scorpio today, Holy Spirit? of cups what is the message for Scorpio today Holy Spirit nine of Pentacles page of wands page of cups the full Two of Cups. The overarching energy is the King of Pentacles with Scorpio. I'm already getting someone from your past with the Six of Cups. There's someone from your past that is really missing you, or you might be missing someone at this time, Scorpio. Somebody from your past it could be an ex. This can also be a um, past love, you know, past life kind of connection. Somebody from your past life. Someone that you just feel like you miss at this point, and someone that you miss right now at this point, Scorpio, or somebody really misses you at this point. You could be looking like looking very beautiful at this point. You're working on your finances, you're single, you want to you're working hard, you're attractive. And someone could be wanting to come back into your life right now with this page of wands. They're looking for like a new passionate beginning with you, Scorpio. With this page of cups here, they could be like, you know, thinking about you a lot, missing you, wanting to have like, you know, a new start with you, this full energy. There's someone that wants a new start here, Scorpio. There's someone that really wants a new start with you with this two of cups energy. Somebody that actually like, you know, sees you as a, they are equal. Like, you know, equal give and take. The two of cups energy is very beautiful energy. It gives power couple vibes. Someone that sees you as a person they can have like a, a very beautiful relationship with something that is also very beneficial for the both of you guys. Someone that wants to give you equal give and take. They want to give you equally and give you what you want and what you need, Scorpio. This could be somebody from your past with the six of cups day. That also could be like, you know, past life energy somebody from your past life they say that you're looking beautiful you're looking attractive you're getting what you want right now you might be working on your finances as well working on your stability and they see you very they find you very attractive with this page of wands here they find you very attractive scorpio they have feelings for you they want to start a relationship with you if it has, if it has already started or maybe it ended they want to rekindle their relationship or if this is still the beginning of something that is new with this full energy, because everything just feels very brand new. This person wants to take a leap of faith. 
and they want to have this two of cups with you we have this king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they want something that is more stable they want to take care of you provide for you the king of pentacles is very stable the king of pentacles is amazing you know could be dealing with the taurus as well or earth sign energy capricorn and virgo but the king of pentacles is the taurus so you can also be dealing with the taurus somebody that is very financially stable somebody that is grounded or it could that could be your energy at this point where you're feeling very stable you're feeling very financially uh, grounded right now this person might want to protect you and take care of you and provide for you and all that so holy spirit holy angels what is that six of cups with scorpio what is that six of cups with scorpio what is that six of cups with scorpio We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, I have to cut that there. This Knight of Swords, you can always be in reverse. Okay, let's clarify this for Scorpio. What is the Six of Cups for Scorpio? What is the Six of Cups for Scorpio? We have the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. If you guys had like some separation in this relationship, <coughs> if something just ended prematurely here, this person wants to fight for this. They want to fight for this. They want to come back and fight for it. They want to give to this connection. And then we have strength here. Yeah, strength is Leo energy. You could also be dealing with the Leo. This, um, this, this person can also just be holding back. Maybe they got hurt from their past. Something that has left them in this wounded warrior energy. But the wounded warrior, he's hurt, but he still wants to continue fighting. Even though he's hurt and he's wounded, he's a little bit scared, but he's willing to go at it again. So this person might be holding back because they, they, you know, they, they have some trauma from their past relationship something that happened in their past or oh, this could be you scorpio you could be the one that is holding back from this relationship or whatever this is because there's some wounding there's something that could have happened from your past that left you in this energy of wanting to just like you know hold back even though you want love you want to continue to fight for it you are holding back and i'm also sensing like strength you know i'm sensing strength that the, you, 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 both of you people in this relationship, you both want to fight for this relationship. You both want to fight for it. This relationship is strong. It can still go a long way. You still see it as something that can work out. Can we find more about that? Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups? And then we have the seven of cups and the ace of wands there could be some confusion here there could be some confusion it could be you or it could be them there could be some confusion maybe this that's why this person is holding back or you are the one that is holding back there's some confusion here there's somebody that's holding back because they're feeling confused they don't know whether to go ahead or not whether this is going to bend them or hurt them whether there's a snake there is it something that they can trust I just get the, the energy of someone that is holding back, but wanting, getting this inspiration to want to start something with you, Scorpio, getting this inspiration. They are very excited about it. We have another, we have an ace of wands here, passionate energy. They find you very attractive. You know, you get them very excited about life. It's like a passionate beginning that they want to start with you. But there's, a, there's some confusion. This person is holding back because they are confused. Maybe there's something that happened in their past that left them in this energy of feeling confused. You could be dealing with somebody that is wounded from their past. But what I like is that they're showing up as the wounded warrior. They are still willing to fight. They're still willing to go for it. They're still willing to, to take this leap of faith with this fool here. You know, they're just a little bit confused. But we have this Ace of Wands here. Something is going to happen. This person is getting inspiration to want to come forward. And, and take this relationship to another level. What is the nine of pentacles? Let's go here. And then we have this king of cups. 
the king of cups is a scorpio pisces and cancer i love the king of cups the king of cups is very loving and very compassionate and very caring he's tapped into his emotion he knows how to control his feelings he doesn't let his emotions get a hold of him like he's very very deep and connected you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. I see this fish here. You could be dealing with the Pisces or somebody that has Pisces energy as well. Or that could be you, Scorpio. They see you as someone that is warm, somebody that is loving, somebody that can they can have like something long term with, someone they can trust with their feelings as well. With this King of Cups here, they, like this person has like deep feelings for you. This person has like deep, deep feelings for you. We are not even playing here. We are talking about someone that actually like has. A lot of feelings for you and you know he's coming up as the king of pentacles he's coming up as the king of uh, king of cups and the king of pentacles here this is somebody that is matured that has done the work they know what it feels like maybe that's why they're taking their time and they're holding back when it comes to like wanting this new start with you and a little bit confused because they don't want to jump into something so quickly because they they have been hurt before you know they know pain they know they have to take care of you they know they have to come to you very stable matured so they can be able to give you the love that you deserve this person they have like deep feelings for you they're not even playing scorpio that is the page of wands for scorpio we have the nine of, nine of swords somebody is like very stressed out about this new beginning i don't know whether it's you or them they could be feeling very anxious, or you could be feeling very anxious about this new beginning. What is this, the Nine of Swords? For Scorpio. We have Justice. You could also be dealing with the Libra here. Maybe you're dealing with someone that is coming out of a divorce at this point. They could be like stressed out about that. They're wanting this new start, but they're stressed out about things that are, things not being balanced. And then we have the page of cups and the high priestess. This person like wants to use like this person like you. They have a lot of feelings for you, Scorpio, and they're trying to use their intuition and. I see there's a lot of struggle in like in their energy. There's a lot of struggle in their energy or in your energy. There's someone that is struggling in this relationship. They're struggling with their thoughts. They are scared. They don't know whether to go ahead. Is this gonna work out for me? But the feelings, they are there. They, you know, the high priestess, it's hidden, but there's feelings here, yeah, there's hidden feelings. There is a lot of love. This person might be hiding the fact that they really love you a lot. That's what maybe might be giving them anxiety, you know. You know, starting something fresh, starting something new with you, bringing justice into the situation, and balancing th things up, balancing things out with you. You know, it might be giving them a lot of anxiety because people, some people have a fear of failure. Having a fear of things not working out could also like be contributing to this reason why this person is like in this nine of swords energy. Having a fear of things not being able to work out, and that is quite possible. What is the page of cups for Scorpio? Five of Swords. Somebody that somebody is feeling mentally defeated here. Somebody is feeling like defeated. You know, no one wins on the five in the five of, five of Swords. Like someone is feeling very mentally de de depleted here. Somebody could be dealing with a narcissist or they could have been dealing with someone that is very narcissistic that left them in this nine of swords energy of feeling very depressed. They're not knowing which, you know, which path to take. Maybe this is the person you're dealing with. Can you find more about that five of swords? Wanting, like, you know, there's this two of ones energy. Wanting to come to you. Wanting to, like, you know, decide to travel to you. You guys may, might be at a distance this person might want to like come to you actually like even if you guys are not at a distance you're you but you're not staying in the same place in the same house and this person might be wanting to like now come to you and it might be you know they just feel defeated about it they just feel they're stressed out there's something that just gets them very defeated could be something that happened to them in their past 
that makes them it might it might make them feel like what how is this going to work out like you know the other relationship didn't work out why would this work out but i see them wanting to take this leap of faith or you are the one that is feeling defeated mentally maybe you might feel like this person is playing games with you you don't think you feel like this person is mine or be serious but this person is quite serious like you know we have this two of wands here and we have the fool this person wanting to take this leap of faith and come towards you you might feel like this person might have been playing games because you know if you're dealing with someone that has anxiety or depression i know this for a fact and you if you're used to dealing with narcissistic people that people that are usually very narcissistic and very helpful and you know some people that like to play a lot of games once you meet someone like that that could have that could be depressed and uh dealing with anxiety there's a tendency of feeling like if they that if you if you the communication maybe something is said or is not working out you, you would feel like oh this person might be playing games just like the other people and you might feel like you might find that this person is extremely they just have a lot of anxiety and anxiety is messed up they have a lot of anxiety and depression and it might be difficult for them to communicate that with you they just feel mentally de de defeated but there's a lot of feelings for you here but they might be like struggling with communicating those feelings to you at this point what is the fool? We have the lovers, we have the star and the hanged man here. This is beautiful energy. There's some healing that needs to take place here. You need to heal this relationship with this person or they might need to heal. There's some healing that might need to take place for this relationship to start. There's a lot of love between you guys here. There's a lot of love, a lot of passion for each other. This person really finds you very beautiful. They, you see how he's looking at her in the eyes? This person finds you very mesmerizing. You take their breath away. This person is in love with you, Scorpio. And there's some healing that might need, need to take place. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. And we have a Pisces energy as well. We have Gemini. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces with the lovers, the star, and the hangman. The star speaks of healing, wishing upon the, the star. Maybe this person like never thought they could have someone like you before. Maybe you might not even be like the most beautiful. You might not be a beauty queen, but in their eyes, they find you very beautiful, very attractive. They want to take care of you. And it's like they have wished for someone like you. Or you have wished for someone like this person. When you are with this person, you feel like you feel like healing. You might bring a lot of healing also into their lives. They feel like you can heal them. They feel like you you make them feel like it, it you make them feel very good very comfortable with themselves you make them feel easy this person might have wished to have someone like you or you have wished this is like a wish come true for the for both you guys where you guys have wished for someone like like yourselves like you wished for someone like them they have wished for someone like you as well it's like wishing upon a star like i wish i could find someone like scorpio or you wishing like i wish i could find someone like this this person is that wish come true and with the hangman here having to look at things from a different perspective and also a feeling of like surrender you know the hangman can also speak of like prison like you know feeling imprisoned feeling like you can't you can move this person might be stuck somewhere at this point they might not be able to move physically but this person is thinking about you a lot they really want to come towards you or you might need to look at things from a different perspective the hangman has a lot of energies as well but there's a need to heal something here. There's a need to heal something. There's healing that needs to take place for this fool, for this uh, new beginning to come. But it's beautiful. It's actually very beautiful. And we have this two of cups here. What is the two of cups? And then we have the five of wands. Please note that certain parts of the reason might, of the reading might not resonate with you because this reading is a general reading for a lot of people. So certain parts might be might be like resonating with you, and other parts don't resonate. So take what resonates with you, and what doesn't, just leave it. And then we have the five of wands here, and we have the four of pentacles and the three of cups. There might also be a there might also be some competition here. Maybe the reason the reason why you guys are struggling to come together. But this is like a soulmate connection. This love is very deep. You know, this person really loves you. Maybe you might have met them when they already do already with someone else. There's some competition. Or they might think when they see you, they feel like there's competition. You know, someone's going to steal you from them. 
or you might feel like there's a lot of competition when it comes to them and someone might be holding back maybe they're holding back because they feel like there's a third party with this three of cups here there's somebody that is like you know there is another person in the picture that is not supposed to be in the picture or you're the one scorpio that is holding back you're like okay you're seeing this person like what feels like there's some competition here let me hold back because i just sense like there's like a third part in this uh two of cups and it's in this relationship yes i hear you love me and all that i know that you love me i can feel that you love me i'm very intuitive so i know that you love me that's a scorpio energy however you have to get rid of the other person if you don't get rid of the other person i'm going to continue to hold on to my energy i won't be giving so much of my energy to you this is the energy that i'm getting from you scorpio that you are kind of like telling them that you know what i need to hold on to myself i need to hold on to my energy I don't want to give my energy to you when you're still dealing with another person. So I, I want to, if you're dealing, we're still dealing with someone from your past day with that six of cups day. I want you to, I want to hold on to my energy. I don't want to like jump into this and then have to like battle for your attention. I don't want to battle for your attention with the other girls that are, or the other people that are in your life. I'm holding on to my energy. And we have this king of pentacles here. Let's clarify the king of pentacles. Wow, we have a divine pair. We have the king and the queen of pentacles. Like, I feel like this is a beautiful reading. This is, um, if you you feel like this person might be dealing with other people, I you must not, um, I would not tell you to be with someone that is a cheater. Obviously, this person must let go of those people, but don't let that, um, don't be, you know, don't be discouraged. Don't let it discourage you. Whatever it is that might be going on with this person, you must not be discouraged. Be patient because this is like a divine pair, the king and the queen of pentacles. This is your match. This person is your match, Scorpio. They match your energy. That is the energy that I'm getting. I'm going to do a couple of clarifiers. And then we have the three of pentacles, the three of swords. Yes, yeah, I'm dead. Some ending my need to like, okay, and somebody's going to be hurt as I'm walking away. I don't know what's going to happen in this situation, Scorpio, but this is a relationship that has a lot of love and has a lot of potential. But if there's a third party, somebody might need to be left out, left out in the cold and it's going to be painful for that person. If they are dealing with someone else, they need to leave that person. Obviously, they can't deal with you. Actually, it hurts to lie to a person knowing very well that you are no longer in love with them, you're in love with someone else. So they might need to tell this person the truth and be so they can be free and be able to be with the person that they love. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Monology Manifestation Oracle cards and the Soul Helper and the angels and ancestors and then we are done and uh, yeah i think i should also do angel answers so it's great oh let me check what came out vego assess the situation you might be called to, you could be dealing with the vego as well assess the situation somebody needs to you know assess Detoxify. Full moon in Taurus. You could be dealing with the Taurus or the Virgo. But I was getting like heavy and also have Capricorn energy. Leave the past behind. Somebody might need to leave the past behind with this Capricorn energy. Leave the past behind. Somebody might need uh, to leave someone from their past so they can have like a new beginning with someone that they really love. That is the message for Scorpio. Have courage. Awaken the warrior of light within you. Cross the bridges of happiness. It leads over the depth of your emotions. You see, I feel like someone is, they, someone needs to have a, the courage to leave a situation. So they can go to where the happiness is. Cross the bridges of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotion. That's where love is. 
you understand if they, you might be far this person might be far like another continent with this you know crossing bridges and water and stuff they might be in another continent another country another city but this person might somebody might need to leave a past situation for something new to start something that they really want something that they really hold dear to their heart Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for Scorpio just one card warrior be fearless and stand strong and then we're going to put the angels and answers i was doing pisces and, and aquarius so this is the last reading that i'm doing for the day so i can rest If you have any yes and no uh, questions, Scorpio, ask. So you, this is the answer. What is the answer to Scorpio? Opportunity. That is the answer. It's an opportunity for you, Scorpio. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Scorpio. I'm doing daily readings for you. Thank you for watching.